in another community to be a part of an effort to establish Islam in that other community. Because Islam is community. It is something which may be implemented on an individual level if there is no community. Because what we cannot do which requires community activity where there is no community, Allah is most merciful. But when we look at all of the basic practices of Islam, from the shahada, the declaration of faith, the declaration of faith is not something you do inside your heart and carry on. It is something which must be done to the community. The establishment of salah, the prayer, the establishment of prayer is in the masjid, in jama'ah, in community. Fasting requires somebody to see the moon, to inform the community, breaking the fast. We have zakat al-fitr, feeding the community. Zakah, taking from our wealth to give to whom? The community. Hajj, the world community of Muslims, worshipping Allah together. Islam is about community. So, we have to define or identify the proper methodology given our circumstances here for achieving those goals, the goals of establishing Islam on a an individual level as well as on a community level. The first step is what? It is education. This is the first step, is education. This is where the establishment of Islam begins, in education. Why? Prophet Muhammad said, Talabul ilmi farid ala kulli muslim. Seeking knowledge is compulsory for every Muslim. May Allah bihi khayran yifaqihu fi deen. Whomsoever Allah wishes good for, He gives him or her a good understanding, a deep understanding of the religion. Khayrukum man ta'allam al Quran wa allama. The best of you is he or she who learns the Quran and teaches it to others. Education. Education. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu also said that this world, a dunya mal'una, this world is cursed. Mal'unun ma fiha, all in it is cursed. Illa dhikrullah wa ma wala except for the remembrance of Allah and what helps us to remember Allah. وَعَالِمًا وَمُتَعَلِّمًا And the teacher and the student. Education. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi elevated education to the level of ibadah. Saying, That whoever takes a path seeking knowledge, man salaka tariqan yaltamisu fihi ilman, sahala Allahu lahu tariqan ilal jannah. Allah will make easy for him or her the path to paradise. It is ibadah, education, knowledge. The seeking of knowledge, the gaining of knowledge, the passing on of knowledge is ibadah, is worship of Allah. It is among the things which will help us to go to paradise. So it is priority. It should be a priority. Allah tells us in the Quran. la ilaha illallah. No. Illahu, that there is no God worthy of worship but Him. Know it. Knowledge must 
precede faith. For faith to be rightly placed, knowledge must precede it. Because if it is about faith only, then everybody in this world who has faith, and you have people who have faith in Marx and Lenin, very committed, firm faith that their way was the best way and is the best way for humanity. Very strong faith. While disbelieving in Allah, in God, having firm faith that there is no God. So if it is about faith, then all is lost. It is about knowledge first and then faith. The prophets, alayhim salam brought knowledge and with it, in its implementation, there arose faith. By the grace of Allah, the faith which is acceptable to Allah is the one based on divine knowledge. So our priority in terms of knowledge is the deen. I know people will say Talabul al Farid ala kulli Muslim and that means okay we should become doctors and lawyers and everything else. This is where we should be. It's knowledge. Yes, it is knowledge. But the beginning is knowledge of the deen. This is priority. Because even in the seeking of knowledge, in the gaining of knowledge, we have to put it on different levels of priority. There is knowledge which is essential for us in both this life and the next. And there is knowledge which is useful or essential for us in this life and not in the next. Which one are you going to put priority on? The one which is essential for both this life and the next. That is knowledge of the deen. Knowledge of our worldly affairs is essential or useful in this life. But it is of no relevance in the next. So though it is important, and though it is a part of the knowledge that we need to gain, the primary knowledge has to be knowledge of the deen. Knowledge of Islam. And when we approach this knowledge, we have to realistically look at our circumstances. Where do we gain our knowledge from? Some people say we gain it from our foreparents. My parents were Muslims, and I grew up in their family. I do what they did. But we have to question ourselves. Were our parents Sahaba? Meaning they got whatever they did from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we have to question ourselves. No, they weren't. So what does that mean? It means then that we cannot simply say, "I'm going to follow whatever my parents did." That this is my source of gaining knowledge of Islam. Because if my parents didn't get their knowledge from Rasulullah then there is a possibility that their knowledge is incorrect. This is something we have to realistically look at. And there was a particular incident which took place in the time of Prophet Muhammad narrated by Abu Waqid al Laiti. This is found in Tirmidhi and Al-Nasai, authentic. In which he reported that Prophet Muhammad when he and the companions set out for Hunayn, they were going to that last battle in the 10th year of the Hijrah after the conquest of Mecca. They were going to the last major battle